Chef Zublo in the hams. Hello everyone and welcome to Zublo's Kitchen. Good morning. Today we're going to show you our haul of what we got for the Tastefully Simple. And we're going to, let me scoot, scoot up a little bit, I don't know. Alright, so this is what we ordered. So we got some beer bread. We're going to be making this today, okay? Only three ingredients, just like that. Italian garlic seasoning. Hold that. That's what else we got. We got our onion onion seasoning. We got our garlic pepper seasoning. This one was decent. It has a nice kick to it. And then our garlic garlic seasoning. So those are the four seasonings we got. And then we got our, our, our bread. So today... Oops! <laughs> Today, we're going to make our beer bread. Let's see how that is. Our bountiful beer bread mix. And yes, we're using real beer. Do you have a, a thing? Ooh. <laughs> um. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and move the camera again. Go ahead and... Let me move you guys up a little bit. What do you think? There we go. Can you guys see that now? Ooh, look at that. Oh, I heard it. Ooh, look at that. I landed right in the drawer. <laughs> okay, I need to... Oh. I need to check the butter so you can talk. Okay, well let me put these away for a second because we're not using this. Alright, so, like I said, this is just three ingredients. It's the mix. Oh, this little shot. There we go. It's the mix. Three tablespoons of butter melted and then 12 ounces of beer. Is this 12 Or ounces? you can use soda. soda. You can use... Apple cider. Carbonated like, soda. Yeah. Right? Like, what's it called? Club soda? Yes. Or, I was reading, you could use, um, like if you want, a, if you want it sweet, you can use soda pop. Oh. Soda pop. Never heard of a soda pop. But like you could use probably cherry Coke mm. to give it a flavor or... You can put in chocolate chips, you can put in nuts, you can put in whatever. But look. Use for savory bread, hold on, what does it say? Use savory bread, use beer or sparkling water, and stir in one of our seasoning blends. How about if we try garlic garlic in there? Alright. Or what onion, you... which would you rather have? Garlic or onion? We do both. Put do... some put a little garlic, a little onion? Yeah. Sounds good to me. We have it with our right, dinner. So. This is our mix. We're gonna use our seasoning. And all it says is you throw all three together and you mix it. No, that's not what it says. Yeah, it does. Combine mix and beverage to, oh. The butter is for the top. You pour it on top no, before whatever. you bake it. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah. See, why doesn't this look right? I don't know. What's the wrong way do you came? Okay. All right, so okay. the whole thing, just dump the it in. The whole thing. And that is 12 ounces of beer. Yes, it, it is. is. And it says don't overmix it. It's going to be lumpy. Okay, did you preheat the oven to 375? It's, I'm on it. <laughs> she forgot. All right, in a large bowl, combine mix and beverage. So we're going to add this and the beer. The beer. See how it foams up? Oof. Smell that vanilla. Okay. Let me just make Stir that. for third, 20 to 30 sex, sex, <laughs> seconds. Seconds? <laughs> seconds. Do not overmix. Batter will be lumpy. Spread batter into 9x5 grease pan. Is that what this is? Yes, I just didn't grease it yet. Okay. So I'll do that. So you take a pan and you take the thing and you. Greased. It's 
get that side still. Keep going. Are we, are we putting the seasonings on top? No, I think we should mix it in here, don't you? Don't you think that would be... Go for it. Do delicious? You, don't you think you should have combined it before? No, I'll, I'll do it now. Oh. Little. Do you want to just shake it in or you want to actually measure? Ah, shake it in. That's the best. I'm shaking it in. Ooh. Oh, this smells heavenly. This onion, onion. Mm. Smell the garlic? Mm-hmm. Kind of smells better than the, the sample packets we got. Sure does. What Pine we garlic, used. Sea salt, shallots, bell pepper, parsley, chives, leeks. Citric acid. What do you got in there? Uh, minced garlic, minced onion, salt, garlic powder, chives, spices, and citric acid. Okay, yeah. So All right, ready? Ready? All right. And shake it like it. Okay, let's mix a little first. All right, so we got our garlic garlic dip. Two tablespoons of garlic garlic seasoning, half a cup of mayonnaise, and half a cup of sour cream. Then is this the same one we use? Oh, yep. Two tablespoons of onion onion seasoning, and then a cup of sour cream. That's what we made that one time. What do you think? Is that enough, or you want to stick a little more? Do you want to stick a little more in? Oh, don't matter to me. Stick a little more. In. Okay, and then what's, what's the worst that it could happen? It'll just be garlic and onion ink. Mm. Ready? Ready? If you like garlic, you like onion, you put what you want in there. I think that's good. Right? Okay, mix it and then we'll slap it in here. Okay. Let's mix. Remember, you're not supposed to over mix this. Right, don't over mix it. So now okay. just. Put it in the Put bowl. it in the, in the pan. Put it in the pan. Yep. Okay. Make sure you get it all out. We want every last drop of bread. We will have it with our dinner tonight. We are going to make baked pork chops with some potatoes, onion, and a pepper. Do you have a... A what? A spatula? Yeah. I sure you know do. something to stir this with? <laughs> you know, a stir, something to stir this stir with? Stir it with? A stir, a stir, a stir. Oh, here, look, I got a tiny one. I've really scraped this off. Yeah, scrape it all out of that bowl. Okay. Maybe we'll, it's supposed to bake for what? 50 to 55 oh, minutes. Oh, yeah. Aside. Yeah. Almost an hour you bake it. Yeah, we should have did this a little bit earlier. That's okay. Okay. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. And then. And then. Wait, there's more. There's more. Okay. You got to shush, 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 shush. There you go. So kind of what? that's what shush, 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 shush. that's what it looks like. And then you take that three tablespoons of melted butter and you pour it over the top. Pour it right over the top. Get it all nice and buttery goodness on there. Mm mm mm. Just like that. And you zhuzh it up. Zhuzh it up. And then it goes into the oven, 375, for 50 to 55 minutes. All right. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You want me to put it in? Go ahead. We'll, we'll time it. What do we got? Okay, about 10 after. We'll check it out. And again, we've used our onion, onion, garlic, garlic. You don't have to. You can your palate. Look at this bread. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell good. Oh, can't wait to sink into that. And here's our oh, brown. Taste the beer bread. You really taste that. What was it? Brown sugar seasoning? Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you can see there at home, but you can actually see the garlic, garlic that we put in there and the onion, onion that we put in there. Let's taste this beer bread. You can smell the beer. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this 
is delicious. Let's see. Excellent. Mm. Oh, this is really good. Mm. Can we help you? It's good. Thumbs up on this. One pan meal, little beer bread on the side. Mm. Later on, piece of cake and coffee. Mmm, delish. It is. It is. You can taste it. The onion and garlic. Mm-hmm. It's really good. Okay. Thanks for watching. And just remember, be the best that you can be every day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. In the link below. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's it.